Let's start with southern Indiana because there's so many wonderful untold stories, uh, undertold stories of, of southern Indiana. Uh, I think folks are aware that, that uh, Abraham Lincoln, for example, spent time in southern Indiana near the Ohio River on the Indiana side. But I think our neighboring states, Kentucky and Illinois, probably do a much better job of telling the story of his birth place in Kentucky and how he came into the legislature and then the presidency um, in, you know, from Illinois. But Abraham Lincoln spent the formative years of his life, the values and uh, the qualities and characteristics that we all value as Hoosiers, um, he took those values to the White House with him. Those were learned here. They weren't learned in the other states. The Lewis and Clark Expedition. Uh, it emanated from Clarksville, Indiana. The expedition team was selected there. Lewis and Clark met there the first time. They trained their team there before they moved on to St. Louis to pick up their provisions and begin moving west. That's an undertold story of our state, but there are monuments and memorials commemorating that event. The departure, the return, because when the team came back to the east, they stopped in Clarksville and they all went their separate ways from there. We have wonderful assets in the whole rolling hills of southern Indiana. In, in Brown County, Indiana, Nashville, Indiana, you have one of the finest mountain bike trail systems in North America. People come to Indiana specifically to have a mountain biking experience in one of our great state parks. They visit some of the alluring, quaint river cities along the Ohio River. Madison, Indiana was once the longest main street in the state, or in, in the United States. Uh, it still holds the beautiful qualities and characteristics of that romantic time, those ideals that we hold as, as so important. It's a wonderful place to visit. And then they've created assets through, uh, uh, through various festivals and fairs and activities that continue to draw people uh, to that quaint community. Um, so it remains a destination for people. Um, another thing that's really special in southern Indiana, this whole notion of farm to fork uh, uh, or, f or, or field to fork. What few people realize about southern Indiana and as we progress uh, northward to central Indiana and northern Indiana, the idea of farm to fork, in Indiana we've been doing it for 200 years. So that somebody has now developed a name uh, and, and it's called officially Farm to Fork. We were doing it when Indiana was a pioneering territory. Um, and, and so it's not something new to us. We do it better and we do it in a more robust way than they do it anywhere else. And it's, uh, it's something to be proud of. And then when you move to central Indiana in this lustrous capital city that we now have and all the great assets, the manufactured uh, sport tourism economy that's been created there, but also the great outdoor recreational capacity, the arts and cultural capacity that they have there. There are wonderful things that you can experience throughout central Indiana that make it a special place to go. And I think it's one of those things that truly surprise visitors when they come because they didn't have any experience with Indianapolis before that first visit. Um, I love being able to invite visitors to Indiana and have them experience our assets and destinations for the first time because they came with far fewer expectations than the great experience than they had when they left. And they become street level promoters for Indiana once they've departed. So it's a great opportunity for us to be able to talk about the good life here in Indiana and everything that, uh, all the rewards that you have. Uh, when you come and visit a place like our state. We maintain a Facebook page. We've developed a pretty strong Facebook community. Uh, we also have a really strong Twitter community. I, I mean, when I leave here, I'll be tweeting about my experience in Valpo. The travel guide is a great way to do it. We've also developed uh, a tablet version of it as well. And you can download our travel app. It's called Travel Indiana. The other thing is using our website, visitindiana.com, and there you can actually do trip planning. If uh, you have an interest in seeing other parts of Indiana, uh, we'll actually help you construct your ideal Indiana trip. We'll be on billboards and we'll be on television, we'll be on, in print and on radio. Our objective is to uh, pull this blanket off of the state of Indiana and truly promote this asset and everything that we have to offer uh, in the way that it should be.